All right, so now we're launching Windows Vista Home Premium. So this is the startup screen right here. So as you're looking right now, we just connected the computer to the HD TV, and it's starting now. Now this is Media Center. This is one of the um, the main program that comes with Vista, so you can watch your TV, listen to your radio, organize your music, your photos. So you can do all that fun stuff here. So right now what I'm going to do is um, I'm just going to go ahead and just um, set everything up uh, for another location that I have on the computer that has um, some, you know, TV programs on it just so I can um, let you guys see an example of what TV, live TV actually looks like on the computer. So right now I'm just finding the location, as you can see. And uh, we want to pick up recorded TV. Now, also, if you have a thumb drive or an external hard drive and you connect it to your main computer, you can also use or do what I'm doing now to actually access the uh, media off of it and integrate it all into one interface, as you can see here. So right now, I'm going to go ahead and um, let you guys see some uh, recorded TV. All right, and this is a football broadcast. And I'm going to go ahead and play it for y'all. So just take a look at it. And this is actually in 720p HD and high definition. So just keep your eyes on the game. So right now what I'm doing is just showing that you can fast forward it. Um, you can also do slow-mo. You know, uh, you're about to see a rewind in a second. But um, the picture is real clips, clips clear. The colors are popping out and everything. So you know, I just rewinded it right now. So keep your eye on it. And I just rewinded back to that last play. So if you can see the color on the helmets, the red really pops and the blue contrasts it nicely. You know, and this is from um, running a cable line or HD antenna into the computer. And you can actually pull a live broadcast like this off. So um, keep an eye on it. the play. All right. So as you can see, the play is about to be completed. And right after this, I'm going to go ahead and show you the music aspect, okay? Now here I'm accessing um, the music portion of Media Center. And as you can see here, this is all your album art. So what it does is integrates all the music that you have on your computer and puts it in one interface. So you can actually pick whatever album you want to listen to. You want to listen to an artist, song. So I just pick Beyonce just as an example, you know, upgrade you. So, um, you know, just showing that you can play it from here and you can also shuffle it. You can create a playlist. Um, you can queue it up. So that means that you can play this and have other songs play afterwards. So this is just the music aspect of it, which is real cool. Okay. So just keep your eye on that. All right. Now, um, if you continue to look, this is the next feature that I'm about to play here. And this is a Blu-ray movie that I put in here. Now, Blu-ray plays movies in HD. A regular DVD player plays movies for the old square TVs. Blu-ray plays it in high definition for your widescreen TV. So um, this computer that we use in here is also uh, have the Blu-ray integrated in it. Just to show you guys an example, if you want Blu-ray, we can add Blu-ray too. So um, the movie I'm playing here is I Am Legend. And this is a scene from I Am Legend. So, um, you know, you can't really, the video here doesn't really justify um, or give you the full picture of this movie. But it looks stunning in Blu-ray. Uh, so you can just take my word for it, all right? So continue to look here. And um, this is just a short sequence here that we just want you to see. So, you know, uh, so just keep looking. All right? And we're about to cut this sequence short here, but we just want you to just get a grasp of what Blu-ray looks like on um, an HD TV from your computer. All right, so what we're looking at right now is the FM tuna that's um, built into the computer so this way you can listen to all your favorite radio stations so we're gonna take a sample from Hot 97 so you can just take a listen to it now this is streaming straight from the computer alright Hot 97 
street traffic and set up spots in many cities. Plenty grounds, dirty house, shorty down, a brush killer, 20... All right, now, at this part here, I'm just going to give you a sample of what a PC game looks like. So you can also do all of this from your PC. So you can do your music, your movies, and now you can listen to your radio, and now you can play games too. Now the benefit of playing games from um, your computer is that you can actually um, crank up the graphical effects. You know, so it looks much more realistic than a 360 or a PS3. So um, this is just a sample here from a game called Call of Duty World at War. So I'm just going through the level, I'm not really playing too much, but just so you can see the, the effects and the graphics and everything. So, um, you know, it looks real nice, for, uh, much better from a PC than it does from like a 360 or PlayStation 3. So this is just so you can see um, what gaming looks like if you also want your PC designed for gaming. Alright, now this last scene, um, I'm just giving you a comparison on um, the type of computer that I just built. And I'm looking for a similar um, spec one on Best Buy. Now um, here we're taking a look at an HP Pavilion um, Media Center computer. Um, you know, I'm just giving you a glance at all the um, components that's built into it and the different features that it has. So basically, um, these are all the different features that it has. So if you look at it, show you the different components, you know, um, the processor and, um, you know, the RAM, as you can see there, the Blu-ray, the hard drive, the graphics card. So these are just the different components in um, this HP computer here. It also has a built-in TV tuner. Uh, media card reader for your camera so um, now the thing is that this part here if you look here at the price the price here is one thousand seventy nine dollars and ninety nine cents now I could build you something comparable um, to what you just saw in the previous scenes for this price I can build it around eight hundred eight fifty and that's dependent on the components that you want and what you want to use the PC for and now, this computer you're looking at here, this is another comparative computer from Dell. And this one is valued at about $1,000. Um, this one has similar parts in it. Uh, does just about everything, as you can see in the previous computers, um, you know, features that I showed you with the um, Vista Home Premium computer um, and the HP computer. So they built similar in components. Um, and I could build something, you know, similar to this for approximately around $750. But again, that depends on the components and what you want to use the PC for. So this one is, um, you know, basically has a beefier graphics card in it. And, uh, you know, a slightly faster hard drive, but it's all good. Peace out.